Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me again Charles and today I'm starting a new weekly reading vlog. It is Monday. I have officially started jury service so I am not in the office. I have been picked for something which means I will be in the office and of course my camera is flashing. Um, which basically means I will be in the court i'm still going to talk to you while i do this um for about i don't know it was like 10 to a half two i think every day this week so that's cool um i like i like a short day <coughs> which means i should be home half two three about half three almost four o'clock which is basically a full day for me Tomorrow I am going to be out with my friend that I used to work with and we're going to have a long overdue catch up which would be really really nice. I have finished editing the video for tomorrow so that is also very cool um, and I have some book mail. Um, so today I did a lot of sitting around and waiting until about 12.30 ish um and then we went through the whole um being picked process um which i didn't actually realize was how it happened and maybe after i've done this if anyone's interested obviously it's not very bookish but if anyone's interested in like what the jury service thing is maybe i'll go into it in next week's vlog I don't know um, but let me know if you're interested um so i did read a bit of combat codes but not a lot because um it is a positive the ladies that i was sat around i started chatting to a couple of them outside because we were really early and then um we just kind of started chatting as like a big group which was really nice actually because first day like everyone was a bit nervous we didn't know what to expect there were a couple of people who had done it before but like five five between five and 20 years ago <laughs> they'd done this so it was really interesting to hear perspectives and stuff and they picked a range of people for a range of different trials like it's bonkers but yeah so at least i know what i'm doing for the rest of this week which i quite like because the waiting around today was not fun um and then next week it will go back into the hands of the court i guess as to what i will be doing um but yeah let's stop talking about that let's get into book mail so i believe this is from a very lovely author who posted on twitter that they found some art arcs or like they found some paperback copies of their book and they asked if anyone wanted to read it. Now this book has actually been on my radar for a little while and when I commented I was like I'm not sure if they're already all gone but I would love but I would love a copy if you have one and she found a hardback for me under her desk. So this is The Many Shades of Midnight by C.M. De, De Bell. I really hope I'm saying that right. Look how stunning this cover is and obviously it's in a very stunning hardback format oh and they signed it to chelsea i hope you enjoy my little show sorry i'm awful at reading and writing but yeah um so this book is about a mysterious enemy threatens the continent of alasia spreading a deadly sickness that kills or transforms everything it touches in desperation the king of lankara sends an envoy to his disgraced former military commander alias rain sarah recalling him from exile and begging his aid but when a discovery links the contagion to the mining of Isarium, the most precious mineral resource in alasia it pits alias against the powerful mining syndicate in a conflict that could have catastrophic catastrophic consequences because the syndicates will fight to defend their wealth and power even if the cost is everything and everyone so i need to add this to my wheel for august straight away because i need to read this i'm very excited this book is like stunning i love this wow we, oh, i don't even i don't know if this is a series let me have a quick look actually if it's going to be 
I wonder if it's listed on Goodreads as part of a series because I would obviously now I need to collect them all in hardback as they come out. The many shades can't spell anymore. Midnight. This one. So it doesn't say whether it is or not. When did this come out? That's another thing. So this came out the 1st of Feb this year. So that's pretty interesting as well. So yeah, I am very, very excited to have this on my shelf and on my wheel, um, which you will see more about hopefully in August. So yeah, I'm very excited to crack into this one and I have some exciting content that I'm already filming um, and I'm really hope I'm kind of in a, in a mixed bag. Like I'd really love to experience a longer case with jewelry service just to like see what it's like. But I also know that if I do that, then I will be missing out massively on time to film for Vida 2, which again, I'm I'm thinking about doing, but if I can actually film the content, then brilliant. If I can't, that's where the problem lies. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can do and we'll just crack into it and we'll do it as we do it. And hopefully it goes well. But yeah, that is is where we're currently at i'm currently reading a book for something for vida 2 so i'm not going to tell you anything about it but just know i am reading and if you look on my goodreads you will see a sneak peek as i start to finish what i'm reading so just keep that in mind and obviously i'm also still doing spiff by nine so things for that to read as well but otherwise that's everything for today and uh i will be back hopefully tomorrow to talk to you more so I'll see you then. Hello everyone, happy Monday. Um, so I didn't upload a vlog last week. I think I literally filmed one vlog clip. Maybe two, I don't even know. Because why not? Two week vlogs are my thing apparently. Um, so I have some book mail that I can unbox for you. I've got some chaos that I want to do and I was going to film because I need to film for Vida too if I wish to do it. Like I need to prep some stuff, but I've decided it's too dark, even though I'm filming here and it's quite good, but I want to film in front of my shelves. Basically, I don't want to film. Uh, I need to film something for Wednesday. I don't know. I, I th have I already filmed? I maybe. I think I've got book box battles ready to go. Not ready to go. Like I haven't edited it, but I could edit that now. Go past me. Oh my gosh! I really hope that's the case. Um. So I'm, I'm gonna check that while you're here with me because then I will feel accomplished. I am not really surrounded by mess, but I'm surrounded by stuff. And I don't really know why I'm surrounded by so much stuff, but I am. And it's chaotic, but you know, that's nothing new there. That is just me um right reading updates while i'm seeing if i've actually done something with my life um reading updates reading updates i haven't really been reading anything got to be honest um i'm reading something for something that hopefully will be coming out i've been reading my spiffbo books which obviously need to film for but the idea for spiffbo is that everything will be i will do like a whole like me reading not i haven't vlogged not that put together um but the my idea because we have to kind of give um feedback on everything we've read so that sounds great um it's not there but i feel like it's somewhere um yeah so i i need to do that but i need to finish the books before i can film that and i need to i think it's in august that we're going to be posting our like wrap up thing um which is great uh which means i also need to write something and i don't write well i do write well just not great you know um but yeah so there's ah, i did film amazing right 
let's put that in here um but yeah so basically i have been trying to read i will give you a sneak peek about my spiff bow i have not been having the best time which sucks um but i am halfway through one book which i'm just gonna finish so i can review it um and then i have my final book which is the one i am most excited for in my batch again not gonna tell you what it is yet because i'm gonna do a whole video on it but yeah so there's that um i have no other reading updates to give you i have like an hour and a bit left of fourth wing which i'm hoping to finish tomorrow then i can start something else i really want to be chaotic and start furyborn today so i think i'm gonna do that even though i've got so many other things that i need to read but anyways and uh i have book mail so we're gonna open this now which is something i've ordered um and we're, we're just we're just gonna go with that because yeah then that'll be this clip and then i will have officially started vlogging again i'm still on jury duty actually let's do that first i'm still technically on jury duty i was told on wednesday so um, i went i did my trial not me on trial i was on the jury for a trial it kicked out early they said it was a four to five day trial we started on the tuesday we were done by like lunchtime on wednesday that was fun um and then uh, and then what did we do oh then i got told to come back on monday and it's monday today got a message on friday that i wasn't needed today got a message today saying don't come in tomorrow come in on wednesday so it's all up in the air and i am st not stressed yeah stressed i am stressed because like when you block time out for something which has caused a big kerfuffle at my workplace i now don't see why it caused such a kerfuffle because i'm not even there this week well apparently i've got to turn up on wednesday but we'll see what actually happens there um so yeah i'm still on that but i'm actually going into the office tomorrow which is a little bit like boo hiss because i really miss doing the walk every day <laughs> because it was nice and also someone else paid for my lunch so again something else that i also enjoyed um but anyways right we, we're gonna yeah right let's open this have a look at it and then we, we're gonna probably edit so let's go um so yeah like i said i ordered oh gosh i ordered this oh, i don't even remember when a while ago probably because that's how it works do you know what i am also very proud of myself and i'll probably say this again if i do a proper update on uh, my book boxes but um i no longer get the full box uh, actually i say this in book box battles but if you haven't watched that um i no longer get the full box for very little anymore um i just get the book only which you know now they're going to give us two books but anyways so this is carrying on from a book i haven't read <laughs> but it's pretty and i had to get it to match and i don't even know if i really still even like this author but we're gonna buy the books to match anyways because if they don't match and i do like it i'm gonna regret it this book is freaking tiny i didn't realize that this is last violent call yeah Is this short stories for that or for something else? Oh no, okay, it's both. I did not realise. Um, so I own the Fairy Loot editions of Violent Delights and Violent Ends, which I haven't read, but I've read the first book and I was kind of disappointed. We digress. Um, and I also own the Fairy Loot edition of Foul Lady Fortune, obviously. Carrying on the whole like, I need the books to match thing. Um, which I probably opened a while ago. And this is set in the world of Foul Lady Fortune, but with some characters from the other book. 
So we have some pretty edges. I didn't realise how, sm how small this book was. Like, obviously, it's two short stories, so that makes sense. Um, oh, they do do a very good job, don't they? Right. We have some foiling. Well, a lot of foiling. Look at that. It's so shiny. That's cool. We have no end papers, but we do have a real signature, so that's good and then we also have under the dust jacket oh gosh i can't even open it art so let's just well a bit closer so you can see it's on a train car not a clue can't read you the blurb i don't think Because I think I might spoil myself for the rest of the books. But anyways, it's a very pretty edition. I'm glad I've got it to add to my shelves. It's been sat in my spare room for a few days now. Which I'm joyful for. Anyways, right, let's make sure that doesn't fall off the bloody shelf. That would not help. So... I'm going to quickly grab the book that I'm talking about being chaotic and starting and then we'll wrap this whole thing up. So I mentioned in my TBR video I think that I wanted to actually finally give Fury Ball a go because Fairy Loot are going to be doing a special like super pretty special edition of this whole trilogy and I want to know if I enjoy them. And also you know what I'm kind of feeling like some proper fantasy YA and it's been a while since I felt like reading a YA I have to admit but I think it's partly because this book that I am reading is sending me into a slump and everything else is adult even though Fourth Wing is written for a YA audience with some very uncomfy smart maybe it's just me I don't know if it is probably is if you enjoy it good for you just i have thoughts i have many thoughts on this series um but yeah i like i said i have got like 10 pages of notes on this bit on on that book um if you ever want me to like rant about it i might do a whole video and just you know alienate myself from the whole bookish community because everyone else loves that book and i just Let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in. Do we want to alienate myself? I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking now because I've been talking for over 10 minutes. Um, so I think that kind of makes up for the fact that I haven't vlogged last week. And then we're going to carry this on and then this will be uploaded next week. I'll see you in the next clip. Hello everyone and happy Wednesday, Wednesday. Um... I have started Brisinger today, which is good because I believe the live show is going to be next week on my channel. <laughs> and the chapters are over an hour long for at least the first blinking 10 chapters. I'm on chapter 3, so I have like 13 hours left. And that's on 2 times speed, mind you. Which is just... Absolutely bonkers. Why are these chapters so long? I love a short chapter. What's wrong with a short chapter? Anyone tell me. Anyways, I'm home from work. I filmed another video in preparation for next month. Hopefully it's all going to go to plan. I mean, I think I filmed like two videos. So that's like, what, 30, no, 28 more to go. Woohoo! I'm going to tick it off of my plan because I need to do that. Tick. So that is great. Yeah, like I said, two videos done. Um, I have some book mail to open, which I believe is what I won, and I can't show you either side because it came from Canada, so it is covered in postage stickers, which we love because, yay postage, but we can't show you because, you know, doxing. Not that I think anything would happen, but you can never be too careful right i think is the general 
rule of thumb but i could be wrong um but yeah so um life what am i telling you i was in the office today that was interesting um other than that not a lot else to fill you in on gotta be honest wow it's got tissue paper i can show you that bit once i actually get into the box i'm almost there this isn't the hardest box that i've ever had to open luckily but it's in black paper so it looks all professional which it is it's like a present i love presents so i won the whole trilogy of this from ben galley which is amazing because i believe ben is also an indie author so this is book one this is chasing graves and it is a sci-fi um and yeah oh my gosh he stamps them so it says to chelsea and then it says welcome it's got a stamp it's got a signature which is very very cool oh my gosh and they're printed on the i love indies honestly look at that look at that right okay so there's book one i don't know what order these go in let me see if it says on the on the doohickey does it say oh there's a thing right book one I like how it's been packaged. Oh, this one feels chunkier. Oh, here you go. It says it on the spines, if you wanted to know. And we've got Grim Solace. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful. It says on the spine, book two. See? Don't know if it'll focus, because it keeps trying to focus on my face. There you go, book two. Mm, it's printed on here as well. Love this. Beautiful. And then, like, the whole skyline just carries on, on all of them. And then this one is signed and stamped too, which we love. Oh, they get chunkier as they go. Ah. And then finally, book three. Oh my gosh, these covers are amazing. Breaking Chaos. We will never be able to break my chaos because it's just too chaotic. And it's on the back. Love this. Look at it. Look at it. Wow. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Ben, for running such an amazing competition. I am so grateful to have won. Oh my gosh, there's like illustrations throughout it. Or is it the same illustration? Same illustration just on every chapter. That is actually incredible. I adore that. Don't read that because that will give away the rest of the books. Ha! <laughs> <gasps> they look so good look at them they're so pretty love that right we're gonna read what book one says now because obviously then i can tell you what the series is about so book one says meet caltro basalt he is a master locksmith a selfish bastard and as of his first night in araxes stone cold dead love that they call it the city of countless souls the colossal jewel of the arctian empire and all it takes to be its ruler is to own more ghosts than any other for in araxes the dead do not rest in peace in the afterlife but live but life for in araxes the dead do not rest in peace in the afterlife but live on as slaves for the rich while Kaltro struggles to survive, those around him strive for the Emperor's throne in Araxis's cutthroat game of power. The dead gods whisper for corpses. A soul stealer seeks to make a name for himself with the help of an ancient cult. A princess plots to purge the Emperor for his armoured sanctuary. And a murderer drags a body across the desert, uh, intent on reaching Araxis no matter the cost. Only one thing is certain in Araxis. Death is just the beginning. Can't wait to get ready. Can't wait. Can't wait to get started. Is what I meant. Not get ready. Book one. Book one is three hundred and ninety-one pages. Nice. Love that so much. We have maps and everything. We have like chapter headings. 
these are stunning. I am beyond grateful to have won copies of this series. I do have a copy of, I believe The Written is, I think that's his first ever series. I have a copy of that on Audible to go and there are so many books that he has written like oh my gosh thank you again ben for sending me these all the way from canada i am like i said very very grateful to add these to my collection and i just can't wait to get started otherwise i don't think i have any other updates from today um like i said brisinger is a, a chunky chunky book got to be honest um but yeah oh um i started actually be, speaking of chaotic i started a novella yesterday that the lovely author then got in touch and said that i'm reading them wrong which doesn't surprise anyone in the slightest where is it so i started strange in the strangers in the promised land by jim wilborn so i didn't realize that i should have read the seventh cadence first i do have that physically but i just wanted to read something like on my kindle you know and also something that was a little bit smaller to make me feel like i'm achieving something so i put it on my instagram stories yesterday and he said oh i hope you've read the first book and i went no i haven't um have i done this wrong and he said well someone else has also read the books out of order so i am to report back if it makes any sense if I read this one first. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to report back to him and let him know if I have completely boobed or if it makes sense. Um, and I'm sure it'll make sense. It just won't give me the full in-depth thing about the characters that I'm reading about, but that's cool as well. Like, you can be chaotic like me or you can follow the curve and like, each to their own um but yeah that's that's literally my update for today i'm gonna and leave this here so i can go and make some tea and possibly stop sneezing because i can't stop sneezing today which is horrific maybe i'll take my kindle downstairs and maybe i'll read or maybe i'll just eat my tea and watch ncis and then go to bed and read who knows what we will do but we will do something and then we will come back tomorrow to talk again yeah and see what life has for us tomorrow so i'll see you then hello everyone and happy monday so i feel like this vlog has literally just just been mondays which is fun and i look like an egg because my hair is here it has had an unexpected call when it was wet so i am now an egg but that's fine um i'm going to wrap up this vlog <laughs> finally and hopefully post it tonight as i'm recording this which is monday and then start the next vlog next and i'm pretty sure i've just worn this shirt in this vlog as well so that's promising i have washed this <laughs> in this two weeks but anyways let's wrap this vlog up i'm not going to tell you about my day because i'm going to tell you about that when i finish this vlog clip i'm going to just start a new vlog but as of right now i am currently reading many many books because who is shocked um but i'm just gonna give you a quick update so i think one of the clips that i've just edited had me talking about this which is a fury born by claire legrand i said i was starting it and i did indeed start it and i got 16 pages in because chaotic um but i did enjoy reading some of the ya stuff i really enjoyed the first chapter the first chapter is kind of giving us a look into the first person <laughs> the first two people not too sure and we get introduced slightly to a magic system within this world so i'm very intrigued to find out more about that and then i literally had another chaotic moment where i went i don't want to read any fantasy let's see if i can read a sci-fi i really want to read something and i picked up children of time <laughs> don't read this if you don't like spiders 
I didn't know that going in, but I don't like spiders physically, but apparently I can read about them. I'm over 100 pages in, which is quite nice. I actually was reading this this weekend. I haven't had a lot of time to read this weekend, so just to catch you up on the past week, I last spoke to you on Wednesday. On Wednesday, I, well, on Tuesday, I was told that I was no longer needed for jury service, so I went to work normally for the rest of the week. I went to my father's house on Saturday. We went out for Toby Carvery. My nan was there, it was great. I slept on a camp bed. Uh, in my eight-year-old sister's room, which was fun. I got woken up at five o'clock in the morning by the sun. And then we went and did a family barbecue in classic British re weather, which is rain. And uh, we were all huddled together under this half of a very lovely, like, open plan shed almost thing, which was really nice. And the food was great, the weather was rubbish, but welcome to the UK that's kind of just how it is so I haven't really had much chance to read this weekend but I did manage to read a little bit um so this is a sci-fi when I can't read fantasy obviously as I just said that's what apparently I'm going to now um and this book we start off um we start off at the start, fun, funnily enough, we start at the start, um, where we are talking, well, we have our captain of our spaceship, they are doing this experiment, they've created a virus which is meant to speed up the, essentially, evolution of the monkeys that they're going to release onto this planet, they've kind of terraformed it, it's going to be their new experiment, and then it all goes dreadfully wrong. Someone comes along, well, someone's already there, and they sabotage this to the point where our captain flings herself into um, the observation capsule, which is meant to be floating around, orbiting the planet, if we want to be scientific. And she is... She traps herself in there and watches everyone else die, which is great. No spoilers, because it's all in the first chapter. We then have a point of view from Portia, who is a spider, on said planet, when the virus hits, because the virus releases, and so do the monkeys, but obviously if you're throwing monkeys into orbit, good things aren't going to happen to them. So the monkeys don't really survive, but the virus does. Um, th throughout this, so far I have got updated versions of Portia throughout the years um, and throughout her generations. And then we have the point of view of almost modern day Earth explorers who came centuries after the first thing that happened and they've been traveling for two centuries to get to this planet all because they found a space map because that's what they call them a space map from the captain's era directing them to this planet pardon me so that's that's where we're at and uh yeah it's it's interesting to say the least. I am actually really enjoying it. I am still glad that I did not get the Broken Binding editions, even though they were stunning, because I am enjoying this, but I'm not sure if it's going to be the sort of... if I need that sort of pretty edition on my shelf, you know. But there you go. That is what I'm currently reading and enjoying. I have not finished Strangers in a Promised Land, even though it's like 190 odd pages, because chaotic. Um, and that is... oh, and um... The live show that was meant to be next week for Brising Girl, we've literally just cancelled because Lisa was struggling with the book, which I get, actually, to be fair. Um, I enjoyed Eragon, um, Eldest I struggled with yet again. Brising Girl I'm enjoying, but not to the point of loving, so we have cancelled the live show, so that means now that we will be moving straight on to Pillars of Peace, which is fine because I'm really excited to get I'm really excited to get to Pillars of Peace. They are much smaller books and I have a very pretty edition to read. So there you go. So that is everything for this weird vlog, which is basically just the vlog of Mondays. Um, if you did enjoy it, please give it a like for you support me on my channel. Leave me a comment down below of something you've read over the past couple of weeks. If you just want to leave me an emoji, leave me any camping emojis because I did feel like I was camping on the weekend on my little camp cot. And if you want to see more of me, please consider subscribing down below and ring that notification bell to get notified every single time I upload new videos. I currently try to upload every Wednesday and Sunday, so be sure to stick around for more bookish content from me. But otherwise, that is everything for today's video. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.